Today I'm in the town of Ironbridge, named after the uh, literal iron bridge you can see behind me. Uh, in the 18th century they uh, created a new way to smelt iron that was cheaper and more efficient and so they built this um, giant uh, cast iron bridge across the gorge uh, to show off their process. So I'm going to take a look around the town. There's uh, museums and shops. It sounds really interesting. And I'm on the Iron Bridge itself. Uh, there's some kind of festival going on here. Not sure what it is, but nice to run into an accidental festival. It looks kind of fun and weather is beautiful today, so that's always a plus. So most of the sites are within walking distance. I'm walking to one of the museums now. Um, and you can buy individual tickets, but they also have an annual pass. I bought an annual pass for 31 pounds. Uh, that gets you into all the museum sites, whereas if you did them individually, it would actually cost more than that. So even though I don't have need for an annual pass, uh, it made a lot of sense. So the first stop I'm heading to is called the Coalport China Museum. Uh, it's where they made uh, beautiful ceramics. They had kilns and a pottery factory. So it looked interesting, thought I'd check it out. So in this uh, old ceramics factory, they have little displays of how uh, the pottery is all made. They've got a kiln and a pottery center, so very interesting. Oh, they even give you the sound of the kiln kind of jumped out and scared me, but very cool. So the museum runs through these old buildings, kilns and factories. So it's very effective in showing you what it was like with more uh, modern displays. My next stop is going to be the Bliss Hill Victorian town. It's a recreation of an old town. People dress up in traditional outfits and show you how they did things back then. So it looked interesting. Uh, it is within walking distance from Ironbridge, but the road is uh, very dangerous. So I eventually found a path, but if you come, you may want to take a taxi or an Uber. Probably the easiest way. Well, nothing like an old spooky tunnel to make the hike interesting. <laughs> Actually, I think I changed my mind. This trail is pretty incredible. It's across, it starts across the street from the uh, Coalport uh, China Museum. Um, so far, it's incredible. Look at this. Just through a wooded glen, I guess you would call this. <laughs> Very British. Now, this is assuming I don't get lost and take the wrong turn, but on a hot day, a nice shaded path is very nice. Well, I made it to the Bliss Hill uh, Victorian town, so I'm going to walk around. Looks pretty interesting.
Wow, so this is really cool. They just have these old kind of reconstructed buildings to make it look like an old town. It's a little bit uh, Disneyland slash Epcot Center, but kind of cool. It's kind of half authentic, half uh, theme park like, so I, I'm enjoying it so far. Enjoying your day? Yeah, beautiful day. I lucked out on the weather. I had some of it. <laughs> So they have people here dressed in traditional outfits to show how things were done. There's a candle maker behind me, shows you how they made candles back in the day. It's uh, very interesting, very um, fun to be here. Hello. And so a lot of these places sell actual stuff. This is a bakery that sells bread, they sell toys um, in the toy store, candy, they have a tavern. So you can eat here, you can shop here, and just enjoy the ambiance as well. And it's pretty cool, they put this kind of artificial town up next to um, actual real um, old buildings. These are old uh, blast furnaces here from the area. So you get kind of the reconstructed and also kind of the old ruins, very cool. <laughs> Sorry, I always feel like I'm invading privacy or something. Like, <laughs> like coming into a house. It's like, <laughs> I know, it does feel like that. Like, it's all the soft furnishings and the fire makes it feel like somebody's home. <laughs> house that was in two parlors. So we quite easily got rather convenient. Well, it was a pretty nice house. Uh, the person there said it was a middle class house. I thought, man, I could live in a place like this. I mean, it's small by today's standards, but. I think it's probably bigger than my house. <laughs> Are you having a nice day? Yeah. It's what we want. Beautiful place. Well, it looks like it's going to rain out there. Even better in a minute. There we go. Look at that, sir. Oh, wow. Four pound, please. Okay. So my next stop is the Jackfield Tile Museum. I don't know a lot about it. I looked interesting. They, I guess they made a lot of uh, beautiful ceramic tiles here. Well, pretty incredible. I've got all these kind of beautiful old tiles and this old industrial building that used to make ceramic tiles. So they've really done a good job here at Iron Bridge of preserving the past, having some cool museums and also being tourist friendly.
pretty cool. I had low expectations for a tile museum, but it was interesting. And being just being in the old building was pretty cool in and of itself. And you can see kind of the history all around here. Well, I'm back at the Iron Bridge in the town of Iron Bridge. Uh, great day, interesting day, lots of museums. So there's a lot more to see, five or six different museums. I just kind of ran out of time. And I'm going to be heading out tomorrow, so that's it here for Iron Bridge. And so I hope you join me on my next adventures.